Today I'm going to show you five super fast and easy visual effects you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've used all these effects at some point in various short films and feature films, and now, finally, I compiled them into one concise video so that you can use them too. Let's get started. Cineguac. Number one. This first effect is one that I used in a short horror film I made called Bedhead, which was recently featured on Crypt TV. You're making your bed, you toss the sheet, and then all of a sudden, oh my god, there's a monster under the sheets. Here's how you do this effect. As you can see, I have two clips on the timeline. The first clip, I toss the sheet over my girlfriend, who's sitting awkwardly on the bed. Then, without touching the camera, we clear the frame and shoot an empty plate. Then, with your playhead at the very beginning of your first clip, and the video clip selected, Move on up to your opacity settings in the effects control panel. Drop down the menu and select the free draw bezier tool. Then simply draw a mask around your monster. Once you're done, head back to your opacity settings and check inverted. Then adjust your mask feather just to prevent those ugly harsh mask lines. In this case, 100 looks about right. Then move back to your timeline and drag your first clip up one layer so that you have room to drag your empty plate underneath. Then find the point of the clip where the sheet begins to fall into the mask that you just created. And with your first clip selected, set a keyframe for the mask path. Then, with your mask still selected, simply go frame by frame and adjust the mask so that it follows the edges of the sheet. Do this all the way through to the end until the sheet has completely fallen into place, and that's it. Play it through, and you now have an invisible monster under the sheets. Number two. You walk out of your front door and then poof, you disappear into a cloud of smoke. Maybe it's because you weren't abiding by the stay at home orders during the COVID-19 pandemic, or maybe magic is real. Either way, it's a super fast and easy effect that you can do in a matter of minutes. As you can see, I have two clips on the timeline, a shot of me walking out the door and then pretending to disappear, and then a shot of me hiding behind the door and throwing it open before quickly moving my hand out of the way. All you have to do is find a cutting point where we make a hard cut from the first clip to the second clip. Right here is where I throw my arms up in the air, so we can end the first shot right there. Then, we find the point in the second clip where the door is in the exact same position. We can begin the second clip right there. Then all we do is connect them, and when we play that back, we basically just have a hard cut from one to another. You can go ahead and adjust this cut until it looks good to you. Once you're done with that, simply go to YouTube and find a smoke puff overlay effect. Download that to your computer and then import it into Premiere. Drag the clip on top of your cut and time it so the poof of smoke explodes the moment you disappear. Then, with the poof of smoke layer selected, move up to your opacity settings in the effects control panel and where it says blend mode, drop that little menu down. Then select screen. Then, adjust the scale and positioning of the smoke effect so that it fits the size of the doorway. And lastly, just to give this effect a bit more dimensionality, go back to your opacity settings and select the free draw bezier tool. With that, you can create a mask around the outline of the doorway. Feather the edges of the mask slightly, and when you play it all through, you now disappear in a puff of smoke. Number three. This is actually one of my favorite effects which I included in another short horror film I made called Ice Cream Man. You're opening the freezer, and then all of a sudden a hand grabs you, you fall back, and a scary looking dude crawls out of the inside of the freezer. Obviously I couldn't fit inside the freezer, so here's how I made this effect. As you can see I have two clips on the timeline. I have an empty plate of the freezer with a strobe light inside, and I have another clip of me crawling out of the homemade freezer we made out of a cardboard box. If you look closely you'll see both of these shots were filmed at the same distance from the camera and the same angle so that I'll have an easier time compositing one on top of the other. So with your empty plate selected, move on up to your opacity settings in the effect controls panel and select the free draw bezier tool. Then, draw a mask around the outline of the freezer door, feather the edges, and check off inverted. So now as you can see, we have an empty space for our cardboard box freezer to fit perfectly inside. Once you're done, drag the empty plate up one layer, and slide the other clip right underneath. Depending on how well framed both shots were, 
you might have to toggle the positioning or scale of the bottom shot. Now, as you can see, the mask I made is far from perfect. When my hand comes out, it gets cut off and there's a little space here by the freezer door. So in order to fix this, what we can do is select our top layer, then select the mask we created, and of course we can zoom in just to get a closer look of what we're doing. Here we can freely micro adjust every single frame of the mask so that it fits perfectly inside the freezer door. And if there's any motion, like my hand coming out for example, then you can create a new keyframe for every single frame of the clip and motion track the movement and shape of my hand. It takes a lot of time, but it's certainly possible. Now, of course, another way to do this would be to just use a green screen, but given the dark setting of the film and the lack of proper lighting resources, this just seemed like the best option. And in the final film, I think it came out pretty well. Number four. I made a standalone video on how to clone yourself, but this is definitely one of my favorite simple visual effects that can be done in Premiere Pro, so how could I leave it out? There's a couple ways to do this, and in my other video I explain both methods, but for this video I'll show you how to clone yourself with just a green screen. First you have to shoot yourself in front of a green screen. This is an amazing piece of equipment, the setup time is literally seconds, I actually have an affiliate link in the description below, I think it's only like 40 bucks on Amazon. But anyway, once you film yourself in front of the green screen, without touching the camera, you can then film your other self sitting anywhere else in the frame. With your green screen clip selected, draw a mask around yourself. Once you're done, head over to your effects library and search for the ultra key effect. Drag that onto your clip and using the little eyedrop tool in your ultra key settings, key out your green screen. Then change the output to alpha channel and toggle all the values until you or your subject are completely white and the green screen is completely black. When you change the output back to composite, assuming you did a good job lighting the green screen, you should now be separated from whatever's behind you. So now all you have to do is drag your second clip directly underneath and voila, you've now successfully cloned yourself. And to be honest, I think this way is a lot cooler than the simple crop effect because you can actually stand in front of yourself, adds way more dimension. Number five, demon eyes. <laughs> I actually use this effect on two different horror shorts I made, Bedhead and Backup. It's super easy and super effective, and here's how you do it. First, make sure your playhead is at the very last frame of your video clip. Then, head over to your opacity settings in Effect Controls, and select the Free Draw Busier tool. Then, zoom in so you can see what you're doing, and trace a mask around the shape of your eye. Feather the edges, and once again hit that inverted button. Then, with your mask selected, right here where it says Mask Path, hit the Track Selected Mask Backward button. Now your computer will automatically track the movement of your eyeball for the entire duration of the clip. To do your other eye, simply copy and paste, or just hit Control click and drag, a duplicate of that clip right on top. With your duplicate video clip selected, delete the mask you just created. Then, in your effects library, search for the track matte key effect and drag that onto your bottom layer. Then, with that bottom layer selected, move on up to your track matte key options in the effect controls panel, and where it says matte, drop the menu down and select video 2. Then repeat the exact same steps as before, only now with the second eye. With your top layer selected, move your playhead to the very last frame, draw a mask around the eye, feather the edges, hit inverted, and press the track selected mask backward button to track the movement. And there you have it, five very simple VFX you can do at home with Adobe Premiere Pro. If you found anything in this video to be too confusing, feel free to check out any one of my other videos which goes into much greater detail on color keying, masking, motion tracking, etc. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, feel free to comment below with ideas of things you'd like to see. I definitely try my best to take requests, and uh, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Aaron out. That's not something I say. <laughs>